one of the things my wife and I want to do with our channel is to share some of the songs that we've written and even potentially write some new songs, uh, stuff that we're working on now. Um, I've written a lot of songs over the years, uh, but most of them have been forgotten. And my mom recorded them somewhere along the way, and eventually, when she finally goes through all the uh, pictures and videos she's taken, maybe she'll find them or, you know, not, you know, it'll, it's fine. But there, this particular song that I'm about to share needs a bit of explanation. Um, partially because I think most people don't recognize that the Bible allows for the kind of darkness um, that is expressed in Psalm 88, which the song is directly based upon. So I'm going to take a sec, go ahead and take us through that here in a second and read it. Um, but I, I just want to talk a little bit about myself. So I think the reason that this song has survived, even though so many others have not, is because when I have played it for different people over the years, I have found many that just, it resonated with something in their souls. Um, and so... I, I kept at it where other things that I thought were good and I probably should have kept on and allowed depression or my melancholy state of mind to, to drive me to think it wasn't good enough I've let go of. But this one, this one has hung on. And so I want to share it. But before we do all that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, read this particular passage um, together. So uh, read along with me. Psalm 88. I cry out day and night before you. A song, a psalm of the sons of Korah to the choir master, according to the Mahalath, the Leon, Leonoth, a maskil of Heman, the Ezraite. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to Sheol. I am accounted among those who go down to the pit. I am a man who has no strength, like one set loose among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have put me in the depths of the pit, in the regions dark and deep. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you overwhelm me with all your waves. Salah. You have caused my companions to shun me. You have made me a horror to them. I am shut in so that I cannot escape. My eyes grow dim through sorrow. Every day I call upon you, O Lord. I spread out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Do the departed rise up to praise you, Selah? Is your steadfast love declared in the grave or your faithfulness in Abaddon? Are your wonders known in the darkness or your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But I, O Lord, cry to you. In the morning my prayers, prayer comes before you. O oh Lord, why do you cast away my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? Afflicted and close to death from my youth up, I suffer your terrors. I am helpless. Your wrath has swept over me. Your dreadful assaults destroy me. They surround me like a flood all day long. They close in on me together. You have caused my beloved and my friend to shun me. My companions have become darkness. The Bible is dramatic. The Bible is honest. This psalm appears to be without any word of hope. But this is a psalm of hope still. And I think that's what a lot of times gets missed. Crying out to God from terror, from fear, from suffering telling him honestly where you're at and how you feel is seeking hope. This, there's not a word of hope in here, but they go to the God who can solve all of their problems. Um, so I just want to encourage honesty. And we always want to do things within the right boundaries. We find freedom within God's precepts. This is God's word, and it's in the book of Psalms, which are basically prayers that we can point at God. It's okay to have dark days, dark seasons. 
It's okay to struggle. It's okay to, to question where is the Lord? Because what we're telling him is we want you to be near, Lord. And sometimes the only way I can say that is I'm suffering. I'm hurting. I feel alone. Um, and to ask him to, to fill that up, to ask him in his own words, where are you, O oh Lord?